Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to look at um, Unleashed and uh, Rogue DHCP server detection. Uh, rogue DHCP servers are a big problem. Um, you know, if they're giving out addresses on the wrong subnet or the wrong gateway to cause a man in the middle attack, or, you know, there's multiple reasons why rogue DHCP servers are one of the biggest threats you can face. Uh, and so in Unleashed, we give you the ability to uh, detect those servers and, and then um, you can go and find them by MAC address uh, and, and, and uh, track them down. So let's have a look at how that works. So here we are on the Unleashed dashboard, um, and so in order to turn on um, uh, Rogue DHCP server detection, you go to Admin and Services, and then we're going to go to Services here, and then it's under WIPS, or uh, Wireless uh, Intrusion Prevention System. So we'll open that, and then there's a tab for Rogue DHCP server detection. And this is pretty easy to configure, right? It's just a, uh, a box to enable it, and, uh, and then we apply it. And so what this is going to do is it's going to scan the network every five seconds looking for rogue DHCP server uh, out there on your network. And so how does it determine if it's a rogue? Well, uh, two ways. One, if your uh, system is running DHCP server, so... Um, if, for example, under system IP settings, uh, I'm running DHCP server here uh, just because I'm a DHCP server, or perhaps I'm running gateway mode uh, and running DHCP server for for my uh, for my NATed gateway clients, um, then it's going to um, show me an alert or an event if it sees any other DHCP server other than myself. Uh, however, if I'm not running DHCP server, then it's only going to send me an event when it sees more than one DHCP server, and it's going to it's going to uh, uh, log all of those DHCP servers. So it's up to you to know which one is the valid DHCP server, and then you can go and track down um, the one or more rogues that it sees. So. Since I'm running DHCP server here, I'm only going to expect it to send me an alert uh, for for any other DHCP servers other than myself. So how do we see those logs? If you go to administration uh, and then you go to diagnostics and um, under all alarms or under events we'll see it. So under all alarms here uh, the very first thing we see is a rogue DHCP server detected 192.168.1.1. So that's not me. Uh, that is a that is a different DHCP server. So then, um, you know, you can track that down um, from your client by pinging it, getting its MAC address out of the uh, out of the ARP table on your router, uh, and then tracing down its MAC address. So that's the easiest way to find that. Um, but yeah quick and easy way so again it's showing me one DHCP server here if I wasn't running DHCP server then I would see all of the rogue DHCP servers uh, listed and then I could go and track down all the ones that were not the legitimate DHCP server so quick and easy command but it will save you a lot of grief because it's really hard to find rogue DHCP servers without a little bit of help and especially if you don't know that they're happening your clients can be getting all kinds of uh, wrong addresses or overlapping addresses or you know or being sent to a, to the wrong gateway um, which can be you know uses a man in the middle as I said so lots of uh, lots of nasty things that happen with rogue DHCP servers so a good quick easy way to uh, to try to eliminate those guys all right so that's it for today thanks for joining and take care